YouTube, I think I've done it, baby. I've been looking and looking and looking and looking, and finally I feel like I have a custom tactic and formation that is very, very overpowered in the brand new patch, and you can finally play Tiki Taka football again. Let's talk about it. So as you guys know, I ran the 4-1-3-2. Everybody's been running 4-3-2-1 and 4-2-3-1 and 4-2-2 and 4-4-2, and I found something different. I found 4-1-3-2. I went 90-0 with that formation the weekend league. I was smoking people up and down the field I was absolutely dominating this game it's probably the best I had ever been in uh, probably a FIFA since like FIFA 19 bro like I'm not even lying like I was smoking like FIFA 17 18 19 I was nasty at those games 20 21 22 I was all right I would get 20 and O's, 30 and O's, stuff like that but I never felt as comfortable going into this game with the 4 1 3 2 I felt nice bro I felt like I was playing 4 1 2 and 2 narrow again I felt like I was dominating people I felt like I was really playing really 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 good FC 24 and then they patched it and it went to the mud. So, and then I started looking for a formation, right? And a formation that made sense and I could play the way I was playing. Now I'm beating people like 11 2 and stuff again. And what I did was first I built a team that can go multiple formations and I built a team that. I knew would fit this formation. Grimaldo is an important part of this team because he is a player that could play center mid, left mid, or left back. Not, I'm not saying that like in a way where you start him in those positions. You start him as a left back. But when you're in game, if you need him to be a box to box, he could be that. If you need him to be a left mid, he could be that. If you need him to be a left back, he could be that. But the most important thing is that he could do all of them at once. Not the center mid so much, but the left mid and the left back. So I knew that. So when I figured that out, I said, hmm, all right, I got something going on here. I knew Maldini's obviously an incredible center back so is Akanji and I knew Carlos Alberto go center back so right off the jump I said you know what I should be looking at three back formations and a couple FIFAs ago uh, I used to run a formation for uh th three four one two and it was a formation where it felt like you were playing 4 one 2 and 2 narrow, but you also had a little bit of width to you and extra help defensively, right? Because when it defends, it's kind of defending like a five-back, but when it's attacking, it's attacking with the three-back with a lot of attackers. The biggest thing for me after the patch right now is breaking down people's defense. It's very tough to do. But I started looking around, and again, a the main formations that I've played this year, I need you guys to understand this because it's what got us here. It's 4-4-2, 4-3-2-1, um, and 4-1-3-2. So all of these formations have something in common. You can play the wings. The wings are very important. You can get out to the left mid, right mid very easily. You could dominate the wings, no problem. So I needed to find something that I could play Tiki Taka through the middle still and play the wings. That's what 4132 used to be for me. That formation is not working so well no more. That's when I looked at the 3412. Three back. I played it a lot back in the day. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna try it again. And I'm going to try to be able to play this style of football that I like to play. Now, notice what my team does. Azebu and Juan Felix are my strikers. Which, if I want, lads, no problem. I could put Timo Warner striker or Rodrigo striker and move Juan Felix to a cam position. Because Juan Felix plays the cam position amazing. So you can either have Juan Felix as a cam player, as a support player, or as a striker. You pick what you want with that, right? But for me, the way I found the team to work well so far is after getting Chuamani, I knew I, I knew that he would be enough defensively to help those center backs. So going forward now, I was like, let me just put really, really dope players that can all score. I can score a lot of goals with Sawa. I can score a lot of goals with this Rodrigo card. I can score mad goals with Timo Vorner, Juwon Felix, and Azebiu. And then Grimaldo is my support player. He's there for the crossing, the nice passes, all of that stuff. That's what he's there for. So when we get into these instructions, remember what I told you. You are going to defend with a lot, but you are going to attack with a stupid amount of players. The number one thing with this formation is take your time going forward. If you rush too much, you're not going to have enough of the players up. If you take your time, Timo Warner, Grimaldo, uh, Sawa, Rodrigo, Juan Felix, Zebu, everyone's going to get involved and you're going to push your opponent very, very far back. And then when you're on defense, make sure you run players back. For example, don't go ahead and turn into a center back to get a quick interception. You already only have three defenders when it's a counterattack. So don't be switching into them. You want to be switching into a midfielder, a winger, get back with the player. Once your team is kind of settled, now you could turn back into the center backs. Let's talk about the instructions, then we'll do the uh, the the, inst the tactics as well, all right? We're going to go stay central on a Zebu, and that's it. I just want him to stay central. No getting behind, no stay forward. Just stay central. Whichever striker you want for that, do what you got to do. Um, but a Zebu kind of plays great naturally, so I just let him do his thing. Juan Felix, I got on stay forward, get in behind, and stay central. Now here, you could take off stay central or stay forward if you want. 
completely optional. Um, that's a 1 million percent up to you. I just want a player that when we do go on the counter attack, when we do transition from the back to the front, I want someone that's going to be able to always be up there for me to pass to them and then sp spread it out to the wing, right? So that's why I have Juwon Felix like that. Rodrigo, fully balanced. I'm not telling him to go defense. I'm not telling him to go offense. Fully balanced. Do what you got to do, Rodrigo. Take care of business. And I can tell you that he is my top goal scorer in this formation right now. With the balance, he is just absolutely doing everything amazing. Right mid. You got him on stay back while attacking, get in behind, and get into the box for crosses. Very important, get into the box for crosses because you want as many players in the box as possible because everyone is stacking their defense. Everyone's on defense in the back. Everyone is a bunch of players in the box. Well, what we're going to do is counter that by putting a bunch of players in the box as well offensively. So now we're countering the defense with more players in the box. The other one, come back on defense, get in behind, and get into the box for crosses. Very important, man. Grimaldo is important to this because at the end of the day, lads, Grimaldo is a natural left back. So having a player that can go forward like Grimaldo and also defend like Grimaldo is massively important. Do I think Timo Werner should be a right back that can do the same? Maybe you can do it that way. Personally, I don't feel like I need that. I need a goal scorer here in that position. That way I can just send it out, kind of shoot cross body. But if you feel you're lacking defense, then you could throw a right back that can play the attacking as well. You know what I'm saying? So that's up to you. Chuamani going to be on cover center. Stay back while attacking. One more time. Cover center. Stay back while attacking. Why? When we're defending, I need this player to stay, stay fully central. Okay. Now, I want you to understand something here. I'm going to do the opposite with Sawa. With Sawa, I'm not going to put on cover center. I'm going to allow Sawa to cover wings. Why? You need one player to help you if, you're le if your left mid or your right mid doesn't drop back fast enough. So Sawa is going to be the one that can tra transition to the right back to help Timo Werner defend or Alex Grimaldo defend if we need that. That's going to work out lovely for us because Chuamani will always be in the middle, defending the middle, but then sometimes Sawa will take that outside to kind of help the left back and right back, left mid, right mid, if they don't get back quick enough. So that's going to really, really help the transitional defense, right? Like let's say we're attacking with Timo Werner and he loses the ball, Sawa will fill that role for him as that you know the the who was supposed to cover that the, the wing so we'll always have someone covering the wing and helping Carlos Alberto on the other side I don't really need nobody to help Maldini if Grimaldo's not back fast enough it's okay Maldini could take care of that side by himself he's that good so for Carlos Alberto I want to give him that extra a bit of help but for Paul, for Maldini I think he's okay Akanji's okay down the middle as well he's an absolute stud by the way you can switch Maldini and Akanji here whoever you feel more comfortable with maybe Akanji would be better as you know that outside player because a little bit quicker you could definitely do that leave Maldini more central so Maldini's kind of the guy that's listen you could do it however you feel more comfortable it's not really gonna matter okay when it comes to tactics I went balanced and I went 47 on with all right you don't want to you don't want to close too much you don't want to open too much kind of close it just a little bit from what it's naturally at that way you know you kind of have it, it, you're covering the center more and you, if they go out to the wing we'll not we'll, we'll, we'll manually cover the wings and stop that from happening uh, depth we're gonna keep it on 60 don't wanna go too high up don't wanna go too far down we're just gonna keep it at 60 same custom tactics I was running with the 4132 because I'm kinda using it like the 4132 where I can play that similar style of football right balance direct passing width is gonna be at 47 and players in the box is going to be 6 alright you want a good amount of players in the box and like I told you lads we are scoring and we are scoring a lot of goals. It's not like a little bit. I am putting up a ton, a ton of goals in the weekend league. And it's actually making FC 24 kind of feel like before the patch, a little bit enjoyable. Still definitely don't like the patch, let me tell you that. But it's definitely uh, something I can at least play. I definitely want to give you guys an example of what I'm doing. So I'm going to start a game here, right here in the 14th minute. Um, where obviously in the white Real Madrid jerseys going up against uh, the black Benfica jerseys. And um, you're going to be able to see us attack here, man. And you're going to be able to see the way we attack. The way Juwon Felix plays in Timo Werner. The tiki-taka that we're able to play. The way we're able to dance around the box. Like I said, it's not it's not fully like pre-patch type of football where we were much, we flowed much better and we attacked much better. But I definitely put my opponents big time on the ropes. And when I tell you that we're scoring all types of goals, I truly mean that. Because in this formation, lads, it's going to allow you to play so wide or play um, like narrow. And, and the biggest thing, lads, is this. Everyone plays this game differently and everybody's way of wanting to play the game is different, right? I'm a person who 
I enjoy to score a lot of goals. I don't care if I suffer eight goals a game as long as I'm scoring 15 goals a game, right? Like, I don't care about defense. It's not something that I've ever cared about. I want to just score goals. And what's been making me frustrated with this new patch is the fact that people can put so many players behind the ball and it's very hard to score goals. If I'm not scoring goals, I'm not having fun. If I'm not scoring more than three goals a game, I'm bored. Like if, okay, look, if I score a goal or two and you back out, it is what it is. But if I score, like if I'm not, if, if I play a game for, to one nil, like one nil, 90 minutes and I won the game one nil, I'm not happy with that performance. Sometimes you have to do it because your opponent's a really good player and winning one nil is the same thing as winning 15 nil, right? Doesn't matter. A win is a win and a W is a W. A lot of people look at the game very differently. And for me, although that, I believe that in real life when I'm watching my favorite team, Befica, I look at that, I'm like, okay, they won a, a win is a win but in fc 24 and in fifa's bro i like to really win i like to really win and win comfortably and win big i don't care about scoring the nicest goals i just want to score a lot of goals again if a person backs out early then that's a w but i would rather get someone to rage quit or i would rather put up a lot of goals uh i would rather that than than play to a one a one nil but like i said sometimes you're in a pro event you're playing a pro you're playing a really good player to your level whatever it is you know whatever you feel your level is you're playing someone that's equal to your level and you got to play it out to a one nil or, or a two one or a one one and that's that's totally normal bro that's football that's sports right that's we have to go through that but i'm always looking for formations that you can really dominate games and one thing i really want you to understand and please don't ever take this the wrong way but you're usually gonna play someone that's better than you a couple times a day you're not every single a game if you play this game a lot and and, and you play it like at a, at a certain level um you know you're not gonna come up against every opponent that's better than you so my goal when i'm playing is the 80 percent of games or, or 90 percent of games or 70 percent of games where i'm playing someone that's either my level or a little bit under it i want to make sure i win those games and when i do match an opponent that's just better than me i want to be able to compete and i want to be able to try to beat them and i want to be able to be in the game and not like allow myself too vulnerable but i'm more building for the games that i know i should be winning right i'm more building for those games because i feel when you're playing the weekend league if you're someone who gets top 100 or, or, or 20 and o's or rank ones or rank twos rank threes at any of those higher ranks when you're playing those games bro like literally 90 percent of the weekend league games that you play in you probably might be better than your opponent i'm not saying for me i'm saying for everyone watching you might be better than your opponent and only like a few times are you gonna match like a 20 and 0 player or an elite player or you're not gonna match that as much the elo doesn't work like that so what i'm trying to say is like if you build to be able to beat the sweaties the little rats if you can build to beat those guys then you're gonna win a lot more games than you're gonna lose because what you're gonna notice is on FC24 on FIFA is you're gonna bump into rats more than you actually bump into like legit good players. Now, if you consider someone who parks the bus and stays everybody in the back uh, an insane player, then yeah, you're matching insane players a lot. But if you consider those people just like rats and kind of like they're, you know, rats and boring players, that's who you're going to match more. You want to figure out how to beat those players. And this three-back formation really helps me put a lot of pressure on players who stay back, on players that aren't really um, uh, aren't really as skilled going forward. Because most of my losses in weekend league, guys, if I'm being 100% honest with you, it'll be when someone counterattacks me. Like, I'll be chilling, I'll be dominating the game, and I'm thinking I'm going to win it, and all of a sudden, 70th minute, it's still nil-nil. Homeboy gets a breakaway off of a corner, scores on me, and then I lose, and that's it. Or I go to penalties, and that's it, right? So that was kind of getting frustrating. So I had to find a way to beat those type of players, and I started messing around with the three-back lads, and, and I'm going to be honest, man, I've been having so much fun in this formation now. Like I said, you're watching it here, bro. Like, I'm putting up goals. I'm shooting from everywhere. I'm just having a good time again, and it feels... Um, like I'm able to play that quick, fast, ticky tock of football, the cutbacks, all that stuff, man. Everything that I want to do in the game, I'm doing right now, which I find to be really, really, really fun. So I'm not really using or utilizing five-star skillers. I wonder how somebody would look in this formation that's co constantly using five-star skills. I don't really do that in this game. I'm not really built for the five-star skills right now. I could be, but I'm not. Um, I only got like one five-star skiller on this team. So realistically, I'm more, I'm, I'm built for the, the nice ticky 
tiki taka passing cutback goals if i need it the travellas outside the box the finesses more of just the bang bang goals rather than the really really pretty goals but i'm telling you something bro if, if you play a if you have a skill team with a team like with, with how open this game is with this formation i think you really might be able to just destroy people man so i don't know as you guys can see here man i'm just able to really really dice up his uh midfield and kind of and not even his midfield his back line and kind of do whatever i want chuamani's taking care of all of that middle business by himself i'm slapping through balls right through defenses and i'm just able to really really cook it up so here's a weekend league game for you right now and you can really see that in this weekend league game man we went absolutely insane give this tactics a little bit of a try man see if you have fun with it see if you enjoy it see if it's for you it might not be for you but i have had an absolute blast with this team bro able to put up a lot of goals and defend decently as well so hopefully you guys enjoyed it man i hope it helps you guys if it did smash that big old thumbs up subscribe turn your bell on and enjoy your new formation i think you're gonna have a lot of fun with it appreciate you guys watching i'll catch you in the next one booyah we out of here